Today we'll be introducing the operation of a Kodak CR800. The function of the CR is to convert an x-ray into a digital image much the way analog cameras have been replaced by digital. This eliminates the need for film processor and chemicals. The image is saved in a proprietary format called DICOM. The CR uses special cassettes that contain a phosphor screen instead of film but they are the same physical size and come in all the same variety of sizes as a standard x-ray 8x10, 10x12, 14x17, etc. The system itself is very simple to operate as we will show you now. We have an example of one of the cassettes and the first thing we're going to do is set up a new patient by entering their information on the touch screen. First we need um, birth date, exam type, etc. If the site supports work list, this information can be entered automatically. If no work list is available, we can set up mandatory fields that need to be entered. After entering the patient information, we are now ready to run an x-ray. We're going to take an x-ray as we normally do, and here we're just going to take an x-ray with an AMX2 of a phantom hand and a cell phone. Now that we've taken our x-ray, we come back to the CR800 and we simply insert the cassette in the top with the yellow tab up towards you push it in until it stops and the machine retrieves it. At this point it's going to pull the cassette blade down and scan it. We'll see our image appear and it will also erase the cassette. The CR800 is capable of doing 64 14 by 17 plates an hour and faster as you go smaller. As you can see all we did is put the, the cassette in, we've taken it out, it's erased the image is on there and there we have our stored image in a DICOM format where now we can simply uh, send this to a PAC system, CD burner, any, anything that accepts a DICOM input.